there's a story in the canon. The universe devolved, so there's nothing left. The only things that were left were the very lowest levels of hell and the highest levels of the Brahmas. And then as the universe began to evolve again, some of the Brahmas came down. At that point, the universe was just water, and they skimmed along above the water. And they were so bright that you couldn't even see the sun or the moon. Their brightness blotted out everything else. Then I noticed a film developing on the water. The color was the color of honey. Excuse me, the color was the color of ghee. And the taste they discovered was the taste of honey. And so they fell on it and broke it up into pieces and started eating it. And as they started eating on this film instead of the rapture they had been feeding on, the light in their bodies began to dim. The sun and the moon were big, became visible. We got closer and closer to the world as we know it. All because they allowed themselves to go for something that was below what they already had. There's a story from a John Fuan. One of his students was meditating with him one day, and she, her mind got really still. So still she thought that it would never get out of the stillness. She went back home and met up with one of her neighbors, and they started gossiping about somebody else, and that stillness just disappeared. So she went to complain to John Fu, and why did this stillness disappear? And he said, well, you took, you took gold and you exchanged it for excrement. You have to be very careful about where you focus your desires, because they define you, they define the world around you. We live in a world of many possibilities. You are a person of many possibilities. But when you focus on certain desires, either they lift you up or they pull you down. So be very careful about what kind of desires you develop in the world around you. Because that will not only affect you, but it will affect how you experience the world, the type of people you meet up with, the situations you find yourself in. Do your best to define your environment as best you can, through your meditation, through virtue, through concentration, discernment, or through generosity, virtue, and, and meditation. When you engage in these activities, they define a world that's a really good world to live in. Even though negative things can happen, you have your own goodness to fall back on. That's your support. So make sure that your support is strong. <laughs>